Hi, welcome back to BizJet TV. My name's Fab Polly, and today we're going to be talking about avionics and cockpits. Now, a lot of you have asked me to compare aircraft and that, but what I'd like to do today is to talk a bit about what goes into the cockpit and why it's important. Now, the first company to really come through with a major breakthrough over the last few years was Dassault. Dassault came up with the Falcon 7X, which was the first private jet to have a side stick, just like the Airbus aircraft. And they came in with this side stick and they introduced this new easy cockpit, which they then introduced into the Falcon 900 series aircraft and also into the Falcon 2000. Now recently they've come out with a longer version of the Falcon 7X, calling it the Falcon AX, and they've improved the avionics and everything and the whole system. So it's very, very interesting. It makes uh, a, a, the, the flight a lot easier for the pilot because there's not that much clutter on the screens. So it keeps it really, really easy and also projects uh, a lot of the data onto the windscreen for the pilots and this helps with, with situational awareness and improving flight safety. Another company which has started to introduce the side stick as well is Bombardier with the new Global 7000 which will be coming out in the next few months. That's the first Bombardier aircraft with a, with a side stick. Uh, they also introduced the Vision cockpit to, to the other Global Express family uh, which have the traditional yoke. Again, this is uh, avionics which helps to improve flight safety and, and they also project on the windscreen. The other company that's doing something very similar is Gulfstream with the Gulfstream G500 and the Gulfstream G600. They have really, really taken it to the next level. What they've done is not only have they introduced the side stick, this side stick is different to the side stick that you find in the Falcons, for example, because one of the problems with Airbus aircraft and the side sticks is that when one pilot moves the side stick, the other pilot's side stick doesn't move. So, so sometimes there can be some confusion as to who's actually flying the aircraft. What Goldstream have actually done is they've made sure that if one side stick is being moved, the other one moves as well. And they've also introduced feel to the side stick. So this is going to be a major, major breakthrough. The other thing they've done in the cockpit is they've created all these different different screens almost like the aircraft the cockpit has 11 different iPads which you can touch screen and so this is really 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 going to be the, the, the next breakthrough with cockpits in private aviation with the Goldstream G500 and the Goldstream G600 but I'm sure that they're so are working on something new and so are Bombardier and watch out for Embraer because Embraer have introduced a side stick in their legacy 450 and 500 and that's really what's been happening in, in the cockpit so you can also if you've got a older aircraft uh, some of these aircraft can be fitted with these new cockpits, new avionics. Uh, you won't be able to put a side stick in an aircraft that was certified for a normal traditional yoke, but you can definitely change the avionics and that if there's an STC for that. So that's really all from me. If you have any questions, please post below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe, share, like, and that's all from Fab Poly on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.